I think it's a, a strange form of entertainment, really, the, the Tibetan monks, since what they're actually doing is a, a, a puja, it's a, it's a religious practice. The festival is a good way of being able to present Australian people with um, an experience that they don't normally have and hopefully this will help to break down prejudices and barriers that they may um, have developed over a period of time um, and that's a very valuable contribution that a festival like ours can make. What do you think about that angle? I was told I should use rubber gloves. But then I thought I just get that textural sensation. The setup's coming really well. Everything seems to be on time. Tents going up, stage is going up. Um, of course, we've only got two days really to get everything else together, but uh, I think we'll manage it. A few late nights. <laughs> right. Really in the three years we've built up a fantastic core group of people who are all working together and taking responsibilities. Here on ABC, this family, basically the, the mother in the family was uh, behind the whole thing, putting on this world music festival oh, down the south. It was so sad. And the entire programme was simply about the build up to the festival. And then finally they got to the festival and nobody came. There were more than a hundred people. Three it's stages, awful. all these incredible acts. They and lost they, their they home and everything. They lost everything.
an opportunity for present day culture to really express what it is, particularly in Australia because it's so culturally diverse. So for me it's a really exciting event. It brings in so many performers from so many different parts of the world who are now resident in Australia. We've got circus acts, we've got street performers, children's festival, children's festival yeah. dance, music. We've got circus high wire act. People from all over the world who are resident in Australia, apart from Martin Hayes, of course, who's coming from Ireland, and the Tibetan monks, of course, who are coming from Tibet. <laughs> this last week, putting all this together here, it's been an incredible week. Before we go any further, will you give a big yell to the people who have been doing all this mammoth effort. We're very proud here in Belgium that we've started our reconciliation, we're still having it now, and we're going to keep going with it. So will you please welcome to the stage, representing the Gambangeri Nation, a fellow who's been with us for the past couple of years, he's here again tonight, please welcome Neville Buchanan. Yeah, I'd like to welcome everybody to Belgium, in my hometown, which I was born in Belgium. And my father, the last initiation man of Belgium, Yellow Rock, just down the river. So I'm very glad to open this festival up tonight. Thanks very much. Now sit back, relax, because we are the echoes of Polynesia.
que tu vis à l'autre bout de Paris. Quand tu veux changer d'âge, tu t'offres un long voyage. Tu viens me dire bonjour au coin de la rue des Fous. Tu viens me visiter à Saint-Germain-des-Prés. Il n'y a plus d'après à Saint-Germain-des-Prés. Plus d'après-demain, plus d'après-midi, il n'y a qu'aujourd'hui quand je te reverrai à Saint-Germain-des-Prés. Ce ne sera plus toi, ce ne sera plus moi, il n'y a plus d'autre foi. We're going to move a little bit across a great lake called Titicaca to Bolivia. And we're going to do a tune from Bolivia called Malacum Wawapa. Please feel free to join in in any way that you want, with your hands, with your feet. The idea is to have fun. If you think about what's happened in this country in the last three years, oddly enough, the three years of the global carnival, you get a, a microcosm of what's happened in this country generally, I suspect, if you look at the questions of reconciliation and multiculturalism. We weren't born yesterday and only liberal by degree. This land may be beautiful, but I cannot be caught there So don't sing me your anthem to have learned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are the lucky country where anyone can win. If you were born to the right family and have a white coloured skin, so don't sing me my anthem if the words can't be loud. Plus, pride in the country without pride in yourself.
Amy, Lou, Sally, Ditto. from where I live and see some beautiful music and be in a good atmosphere. It's beautiful here. Everybody's really happy and cheerful and everybody seems to be enjoying the music and it's great that you can choose between so many different stages and things to do and see. Titus were wonderful, very beautiful, beautiful women, yeah, gorgeous energy. To the toilet! <laughs> <laughs> Don't follow you in! It's like one of those ruby wax things. <laughs> We've got this most beautiful stable covered with rugs and things, and five women, and there's a kitchen in there, and we do yoga and dancing outside every morning. It's beautiful, there's a little ring of children playing music this morning. I want to go and hear the monks chant. I haven't I'm looked at the program. <laughs> I want to go to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> been sitting with the monks, listening to the monks and it's a really nice way to start the day and just clear all the stuff out from outside and yeah get started so yeah lots of lots of great performers to see and it's good size. I've been to Woodford which is great but this is a really nice size you can get around and see a lot more and not feel like you're missing out on stuff. Hey mate, is your video ever get stuck? Hey mate, is your video ever get stuck? No! 
Kids area is happening over there. If you have any lost children throughout the day, take them over to there. And if you're looking for any lost children, look over there first. Now, they also want me to tell you that there's an open workshop by the Bad Dags Tent, which is over by the Carnival Cafe. That's till 5 p.m. both today and tomorrow. They'll be making masks and bamboo lanterns and percussion instruments for the parade that's going to be happening early tomorrow evening. So if you'd like to be involved in that, they'd love to see you over there, okay? We've got a, a friend who's come up from Sydney to be with us. We'd like to make you welcome. He's currently uh, sits on the, one of the funding bodies of the Australia Council. He's also the uh, artistic director of Carnivale down in Sydney. They've just finished up. So you please put your hands together and welcome for the afternoon here on main stage, Mr. Lex Marinos. Thank you, sir. Hi. Oh, yeah. Welcome to uh, Global Carnival, Carnival Bellingham. It was a, uh, a fantastic start uh, last night. Unofficially, there was already some, uh, some excellent, excellent acts, and uh, it's just been high standard all the way. And to commence proceedings today, uh, it's only appropriate that, uh, that the initial act should be from the original landowners. Please welcome from the south coast of New South Wales, the Danush Dancers. <laughs> like this and like others I won Adelaide I play a lot for, for helping multiculturalism and, and just sharing I mean that's what it's all about we're coming here to learn from each other and and just experience different things and, and share our experiences and, and we can take this away from us when we leave the festival um, share it with other people and and it's just yeah more growth I think it's really positive like majority of you, I grew up in Australia being uh, given a point of view about what uh, Indigenous communities were like by the dominant society. So my point of view about Indigenous communities was coloured. They're going to share gypsy music with you and music from Eastern Europe. So give them a warm global welcome, ladies and gentlemen.
really, really great program and a really peaceful atmosphere. And lots of stuff for the children, which is really nice. The art exhibition is really good. Uh, it's a nice mix. It's not a, that easy to put one together with such a broad mix of artists, but it all seems to have been very successful. Good cross-section, you know, old um, visitors and um, lots of kids and feral. The highlight will be the Tibetan monks. I think that's why I came really, just to see them. We can't speak English. Everybody's just got a wonderful vibe. They're all here just to enjoy themselves and have a great time, do lots of dancing, lots of playing. Everyone's playing. It's really beautiful. There's lots of sparkles around. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. We have fun here. Good festival. Good place. And good people. Yes. And good, good area. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. We enjoyed it. <laughs> Multiculturalism is a really big burning issue in Australia at the moment. Since the Howard government's got in, I think it's become uh, a debate that's very high in the minds of many Australians. We've you know, had the issue over the stolen generation and Pauline Hanson has sort of done her bit. They've in a sense lifted up the rock of, of racism and hatred and all the other negativity you can think about that is already in the Australian consciousness and society.
Thank you very much. If we're thinking about reconciliation, we need to learn about each other, which means I really have to learn about Western ways and vice versa. You need to learn about my ways. I'm a dancer, but I love to learn from different culture. That's the only thing I'm here as well.
notion of different cultures having you know showing their music um, trying to bring it closer to people teach them how to do it in workshops and everything how are you guys going to make this group <laughs> We've had a fabulous time and last night Aim For More were the best, they got yeah. us rocking and I want to see more of you, especially the guy on the left that bit one. <laughs> what you do is, your top half keep it steady, only, only doing this. My love is stronger than what they hate is. So I'm very grateful that I got this love against John Howard. Welcome to the Global Carnival's third forum. After discussing the, the forum with the, um, the organisers of the carnival, we came up with this clever dick title of uh, Fear and Loathing on the Race Front, Reconciliation and Multiculturalism versus Howard and Hanson. Now, if you can get your mind around that great conglomeration of words, it's what's going on in this country in a nutshell. Uh, I can remember the first time that Keating publicly made his commitment, as it were, to reconciliation in Redfern, I remember going home to my family and saying, Christ, I don't know what's going on in this country. There's a Prime Minister actually standing up in the streets of Redfern saying we have to apologise to the Aboriginal people of Australia. We began to think that reconciliation with the Indigenous people of this country 
was not a foregone conclusion, but something that we could actually look forward to. Um, the facts of life are that, uh, that we have a government of a very different kind now, with a very different set of values. Dare I say it, a very different ideology. And particularly when it applies to this, this thing that's, that's near and dear to the whole idea of what the global carnival is about, reconciliation and multiculturalism. They are still on the political agenda, but not with a view to actually making quite sure that they happen. The arrival on the scene of our friend the fish and chip shop owner from Ipswich you can regard as being either the worst thing that ever happened to people who, f who believe in reconciliation and multiculturalism, or maybe the best thing. I lived in a lot of racism in Barrowville, now Bucky Eds and Maxwell, where a lot of racism come from. Where my mother couldn't have me in hospital over there. That's how she walked over the mountain to have me in Bellingham. I had eight of us kids here. Most of my brothers and sisters got taken away by the protection board. <laughs> None of you Australian people never ever known about the history of Aborigine people. You didn't know nothing about the Aborigine people. Because we would put on rubbish tips. Old house with no electricity. I grew up on them old houses. And I still carry the pain sometimes. I still got a bit of racism in my heart. Every one of us got racism in our hearts. You know? None of us can say that we haven't got any racism. We have. <laughs> John Harris can make me a lot of promises, but he can't keep them. In five minutes, he could drop dead. I wish he'd take everything back. This I want to live happy. I want to get on with my life. Thanks very much. You don't see many Indian people working at Target or Woolworths. Like you don't see a lot of uh, Aboriginal people in, in mainstream. And that's why it's, it's good to have policies like multiculturalism. Multiculturalism ensures that people can have access to all government services and they can also have access to jobs because otherwise they would never be given the jobs if, they, uh, if we didn't have those policies in place. What? the arts products of that cross-cultural engagement become that I think stamp us as a unique society. And I think while ever we continue to miss those opportunities, we will only ever be a pale imitation, a monocultural Im imitation of some other society. For the life of me, I can't understand why we still have a Union Jack in our flag. I mean, it is though, can we only define ourselves in terms of someone else? Do we not have the confidence to say who we are? Fear and loathing in, in my feelings with um, Pauline Hanson and John Howard is about not supporting us. It means support, to me it means the lack of support. At the beginning of my going into school, into state schools, there was a policy around that said Aboriginal people were not worth educating. On racism aspects in myself that I didn't even know were there. And it sort of comes out of the schoolyard. And this little person sitting over here, hopefully, can go through a civilisation and a schooling system where it doesn't occur. Yeah. Where does true sovereignty lie? In my mind, in my heart, true sovereignty of, over Australia and the Torres Strait Islands can only lie with the descendants of the Aboriginal nations of Australia. Money making money. It's always working for more. There's more people every day. Needing clothes and food. Yeah. Hey, we, we need more, 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 more. Give us more. I don't think our existing government has really got a care for the people. It is playing 
It's, it's, it's band-aiding. It's saying, oh, well, look, uh, let's forget all the past. I don't mean that we should foster or fester into bad feelings that we have about the past, but we still have to recognise them. I'm a descendant of the Yuan people in New South Wales, South Coast, and the Eora people from La Perouse, and I too was taken away and came back six years ago to my people. And I think that what's important for reconciliation today is that our people be allowed to grieve, and we're not allowed to do that. And there's de generations after generations of grief and loss, and um, sometimes I get angry when we, we grieve for massacres and we grieve for Anzac and we grieve for all these things. And still today, my people um, are not allowed to freely grieve, and I think that's important. different nationality and uh, different culture. You can you go to India, I was standing here once and I hear some music. I thought, I thought it was from my country, but I was from India and I start movement. And the discussion forum this afternoon really, you know, brought all the issues that this that underpin this festival to to the fore. The Tibetan world um, yeah. prayer things on today, but that clashes with the belly dancing, and I want to go to both. So. Yeah. It's a world chant for peace tonight. I think I'll go yeah. and do a bit of a shimmy and then <laughs> go and do a bit of meditation. <laughs> <laughs> and then top it off by a chai tea. Yeah. <laughs>
Diana Reyes Flamenco.
You have been a gorgeous Global Carnival 97. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts. On behalf of all the performers, we will see you next year. Pick up the garbage on the way out. Be respectful of our neighbors. We will see you then. Love to all. Good night. Goodbye. I want to get on with life and enjoy our life together. Not with one only, just because there's Aboriginal many people. We all got to live together on this land. We all got to come together.